All right, uh, we will start today with a statement from Coach Beeline, then we'll take questions for Isaiah Eisendorf and Russell Sangster. We'll dismiss them back to the locker room and then we'll take questions for Coach Beeline. So Coach, you wanna start with the statement, please? Yep, um, what an unbelievable team West Texas A&M is. Uh, their ability to make shots tonight, uh, you know, we, we couldn't do much with them. And they're a very physical team with a low, pro, low post presence, um, very well coached, so give them a lot of credit the way they played. Uh, we didn't have a great shooting night, and sometimes that's the way it goes. Our defense kind of uh, got us to this point, and when teams make tough shots over you, I don't think many were uncontested. When teams make tough shots over you and you're not making shots at the other end, you're going to eventually kind of, uh, they're going to separate. You know, I believe there was a period there where we couldn't make any and they hit three threes and you know, that was the difference. So uh, credit to them uh, and they're a very good team that I think can go and win it all. all right, questions for the student athletes? Yeah, this year I just felt like we had all the pieces um, and just being here and not being successful in the past and uh, finally knowing that we have what it takes to uh, go far. Um, it was an incredible feeling and uh, I mean, it's just sad being, uh, knowing that I can't keep playing, but uh, I'm just grateful for all the guys that came and uh, made my last year a very uh, fun and eventful year. And uh, yeah, they're a great group. Isaiah, if you could also expand on that, what it was like to be part of this, uh, coming from another school where they didn't really let you shoot, and all of a sudden you've uh, turned into a very good offensive player as well as a defensive player. Um, yeah, it was it was great playing uh, playing with these guys. This is uh, I can say this is probably the best team I've played with, the best group of guys I've played with. Uh, I played on some pretty good teams in the past, so that's uh, that's a statement. But um, yeah, like Russ said, I'm just sad it has to come to an end. You know, we we definitely. Uh, felt like we had uh, a lot of the pieces, and um, yeah, yeah it, it sucks that it has to end this way, and uh, I'm not all happy and all that, but yeah. Anything else for the student athletes? Go ahead. Talk about your start. I know you were frustrated. You missed your first five. You finally got it going and everything. Talk about your start tonight. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I couldn't get it to go on the rim early. Every shot felt good, which uh, is important. Uh, coach was telling me, you know, they're going to fall, so keep shooting it. So uh, I did that. Like you said, it, it got going. But, um, yeah, they were making shots, and we, we really weren't most of the night. So uh, that probably was most of the difference. Anything else for student athletes? All right, thank you, gentlemen. You can go back to the locker room. All right, we will take questions for Coach Beeline. Coach, did you have a half, a second half like that, where you just couldn't seem to find it there in the second half? Did you have a half like that this year? Um, we have. It's been a pretty long time. I think it was at Fairmont State. Uh, we had a half like that where they were making everything and we couldn't get anything to go. So, again, that's part of the game. Uh, and, you know, at this level, kind of, it, it's frustrating to have a half like that. Um, but when you play a great team like them, you, you, you can't have a half like that, and, and that's what we ran into tonight. So, um, you know, these kids worked hard uh, all year. So, uh, again, like they, they stated, it's, it's, it stinks it has to end this way. Um, but winning championships is very difficult, uh, especially in college basketball, and everyone's going after that. Um, so, you know, we got to this point, and hopefully next year we can make, take another step. Yeah, it's you know when you bring in a lot of transfers, uh, it can be it can be dangerous in a sense of the chemistry, team chemistry, and we we struck lightning in a bottle with this group, the the players that were left over from you know Steve Evans's last year, 
combined with the guys we brought in, uh, the team chemistry was at an all-time high. Uh, and I think team chemistry can eventually outlast talent. And that's where we started to separate ourselves from last year to this year in the NE10 especially. Um, just a, a great group to coach. They all enjoy hanging with each other off the court. And I think that says something as well. Because when you enjoy stuff off the court, it's usually great stuff on the court. And that's what we had uh, with this team. Pat, you know, they had, uh, I mean, obviously, Chad and Evan, you can shoot the three. And then you got like, a guy like Quaid, you got to worry about, too. Can you talk about how he's going to kind of hurt you tonight? But... Yeah, you just gave me nightmares saying those <laughs> names again. <laughs> no, I mean, what a, what a talented group. You know, both of them can, can go. And then the, with the low post presence, uh, they're, they're very tough to guard uh, at any level. They run great stuff. They run it hard. They're physical. And, um, you know, you know, I thought we did some really good things, um, but they made more shots. And, and like I said, they credit them. They made t tough, contested shots. And when we did fall asleep, they knocked the open ones down. Anything more for Coach? All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Thanks, guys.